mercury pollutants continue to be an increasing problem, causing severe damage to the ecosystem around the globe. It's time humanity acted. MRT provides the tools that help us link today with the future. Bridging four decades of experience of developing techniques for handling products containing mercury, MRT leads the world in this area. Thanks to its unique approach and outstanding customer support, MRT has established itself in more than 30 countries around the globe. Australia is one example where MRT's equipment has been integrated into major package deals which make available a variety of comprehensive light control concepts. Replacing old fluorescent lamps with long life tubes, for example, and installing a light control system can save more than half of the energy costs. And as a bonus, the MRT technology transforms the hazardous consumed tubes into a non-hazardous state. The environmental awareness sweeping across the world has also created an important market in Asia. Matsushita, also known under the brand names Panasonic and Technics, is a major customer who've realized the benefits of using the MRT technology. Both consumers and manufacturers have become more uh, environmental conscious and environmental protection and recycling. We are confident that uh, this will provide a tremendous business opportunity for MRT systems in Japan. In order to meet such requirements in different parts of the world, MRT has developed a wide product range. The principle behind MRT's different systems is simple, but the technology is advanced. The recycling process can be divided into two stages. Initially, the components containing mercury are separated from the other materials in a completely dry process. This can be achieved either by crush and separation or by the end-cut air-push technology. The second stage is the recovery of mercury, in which the phosphor powder and other mercury-bearing components are treated in a patented distillation process. In both of these areas, MRT has several technical solutions with varying capacities for meeting specific requirements. We're now going to meet some MRT customers from near and far, entrepreneurs and industries who've chosen the MRT approach for a variety of economic, ethical and strategic reasons. Boston, Massachusetts. Here we find one of MRT's major clients in the United States, a company dedicated solely to managing other people's waste products. The advantages of our equipment that helps us to differentiate ourselves between us and our competitors uh, is that we do uh, produce on a regular basis clean byproducts that pass all the uh, test standards and guidelines set here in America. The beauty of our equipment and this particular piece of equipment is that it's self-enclosed and it certainly limits the exposure to the employee. This is the MRT Compact Crush and Separation System, a self-contained space-saving and flexible system handling volumes of up to 2,000 fluorescent tubes per hour. The plant can process all sizes and shapes of discarded fluorescent tubes. The fluorescent tubes are fed from the outside of the container. After the conveyor belt, they enter a beta where they're cut into pieces. The first separation stage of the phosphor powder starts in a patented transportation system. Then the material drops onto a sieving unit, which separates the metal parts and the glass fractions. The metal ends are additionally crushed and then divided into ferrometals and aluminium end caps. The soda lime glass is also subjected to a second stage of crushing and air treatment. 
Finally, it enters a rotary discharge feeder, which makes the glass as clean as any available crush and sieve technology can achieve, meeting the strictest regulations of pure byproducts. All the powder is transferred to cyclone, dust and carbon filters, and beneath the cyclone and the self-cleansing dust filters, the phosphor powder is collected into distiller barrels for further processing in the MRT distillers. MRT can also provide bigger crush and sieving plants for extremely high capacity requirements. Among others, several plants have been sold to General Electric's facilities all over the world. you to the end cut air push technology we've chosen as an example two of our major clients in Japan. Many of the people have become very uh, environmental conscious these days as well as manufacturers. Uh, in Japan uh, 450 million pieces of fluorescent lamp is manufactured uh, a year but the recycling ratio is only 7%. 93% of fluorescent lamp are dumped. And in view of this situation, MRT system is really important for its special expertise and technology and also effective use for recovering fluorescent lamp materials. I believe that uh, we are the one of the leading company in Japan in the field of that kind of environment technologies. One advantage of the N-cut air push machine ECM 5000 is that it enables tubes with various diameters to be process mixed together. The treatment consists of several processing steps beginning with the identification of the tubes using a color detection camera. The process continues with hole making by row burners. After hole making, the exceptionally narrow end cutting will take place. After having been cut off, the end caps are discharged from the processing line and can be further separated with the help of additional processing steps. The final step of the process is the air blowing of the phosphor powder. This unique design is very important for achieving the cleanest glass quality for reuse. Powders of different qualities are collected in drums beneath the cyclones so that powders of a specific quality can be isolated. The clean soda lime glass and the valuable powders are then returned to the lamp industry for reuse in new fluorescent lamps. MRT can of course also provide smaller ECM plants for accommodating various capacity requirements. As far as I know, the uh, MRT end cut technology is the best in all of the world and uh, MRT has uh, extensive deep technologies, long technologies and experience in this industries. It's a very important for us. The customers uh, can expect uh, to make a complete recycling systems uh, with MRT uh, 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 products. I think it is very difficult for the uh, wet uh, treatment uh, technologies uh, to make recycling, especially for the uh, powders and the mercury. MLT uh, dry uh, treatment systems is better for the environment. To show you an example of MRT's distillation technology, we'll pay a visit to Indavir Relight in Belgium. Apart from using the ECM 5000, they also use the MRT distiller for processing all types of mercury-bearing waste. Recently, they extended their capacity with two additional domes. We make choice for uh, MRT superior distiller 
because it seemed to us a very good uh, and good performing installation compared with installation of MRT competitors. One of the advantages is that it uh, offers a possibility to treat several kinds of mercurial wastes such as fluors and powders on the one hand but also cell batteries, mercury relays, um, mercury thermometers, dental uh, amalgams uh, and so on. Distiller barrels are placed in the vacuum chamber. When the appropriate program is selected, the waste material is treated in a fully automatic and accurate process. Heat is applied, causing the mercury to vaporize. The organic particles carried by the gases are oxidized in the combustion chamber. The gases then enter the highly efficient cooling traps, where the mercury condenses into free-floating liquid mercury. Grace to and thanks to MRT uh, technology, we never have had problems with exceeding emission value limits and we secured good performance together with MRT, uh, which whom we have concluded a service agreement to, for keeping up our installation in good condition, in good shape. Uh, we believe in the MRT technology, that's why we use it. You know, other people have tried to copy it unsuccessfully. There are other people in Europe, there are other people in the United States that manufacture equipment, uh, but clearly uh, MRT is the leader in producing the best equipment, high technology, whether it's a manufacturer's representative, whether it's someone from Osram or Philips or GE, whoever it is you speak to about lamp recycling, inevitably the name MRT comes up. Increasingly stringent environmental regulations with producers assuming more responsibility calls for more sophisticated technical solutions. The people we've just met possess this awareness. By choosing the MRT technology, they have all invested in the future. Their foresight and sense of responsibility is not only generating good business, but making them the link between today and the future.